What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Super excited to have all of you guys here with me. Today, I'm gonna be going over full step-by-step -step, uh, layered haircut for you guys. So let's get started. Okay, grab some clips. And what is the FSE digital haircutting system sectioning? It's very, very simple. I focus on the curve of the head and that's how we section it out. We're gonna go straight down the center. And this doesn't matter if my guest has a center part or not, I'm still gonna section it this way. So we're gonna work through it from the bridge of the nose up and I'm gonna draw a line straight back to the crown. And we'll work that through. And then we're gonna go from the high point of the head and I'm gonna draw from this high point right here. These are the things you need to look for when you're sectioning out your client. So I work through here, I go straight down the center. That separates left and right. Now I wanna separate front and back. The way that I separate front and back is I work from this high point here and I go down and I aim for the hairline here. So the hairline allows me to grab a hold of what would be the back density. So from here up and all the way back is the same density all the way to the other side. Everything from this point forward here is the same density. So that separates front and back. And then I know when I go to layer the hair that every section I'm holding in my hand has the same density. So I comb this forward and I'll slide a clip up underneath and keep the front separated. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, high point down to the hairline. Got a little bit far there. So I'm just going to recomb and adjust. Sectioning like this for every single haircut that I ever do allows me to be aware, especially let's say I'm cutting a bob, to not cut too far into the side without being aware of it. Slide the clip up underneath and hold it in place. So now again, this density all the way around to the back is the same and this density all the way from the front is the same. Now what we need to determine is through consultation what our guest wants. So I can section this before I even know what she wants because this is just a standard sectioning, get through it. Normally I'd be having my, con my consultation while I'm putting the sectioning in and then I can execute right as soon as I'm done sectioning. Now where you start is gonna be determined in the consultation. I wanna do a long haircut with long layers. Because I wanna do long layers, I wanna start from the inside out. I wanna go interior to exterior. Why I wanna do that is because I wanna know how long this piece is going to be. I can always blend it into the bottom, but if you start in the bottom and you start layering up and then all of a sudden the layers are shorter than you wanted, then you've, you've messed up your execution, what you wanted to do. The next thing we need to break down, I know I'm gonna go long layers, so I know I wanna start inside out. Now I need to know my horizontal line. So we talk about our vertical, how long do we want this to be? How much layering do we wanna do? And now where do I want to move the weight side to side? Do we want her to have rounded looking layers that go around the face or around the head this way? Do we want it to be more balanced in the back like this? Do I wanna pull everything back and have it cut into a line in the back? That would give me weight towards the edges, towards the corners here. Those are really the two things that I think about in this scenario. Do we wanna have weight in the corners is the question. I don't want to have weight in the corners for this cut so we're going to be moving in a circular motion around the head shape and we're going to work pie shaped sections till we get to the corner here same thing one to two to three to four and we're going to work layering out from the head this is where hair cutting gets broken down into such a simple form where there's literally two things to think about there's how much do we want to graduate or layer so graduation is anything below 90 degrees. So if I've got this held out from the head shape here, I'm at 90 degrees, all this is layering. If I lift the hair higher and higher, it's going to get more layered, right? But it's gonna get more layered uh, and shorter as we go, unless we decide that we want this length here, I lift it up and then we can start to concave or collapse the rest of the hair here, but hold on to that length where we want it to be cut. Or You've got the hair out like this. This is 90 degrees here. Anything below that, we drop it just one degree. We start building weight 
on the head shape. A lot of people will cut layers and not be aware that the head shape is curving and you're working on a round surface. So they're not aware that they're actually at 89, 85, 75, whatever it is, doesn't matter, but it's below 90. And they're not aware that some of the section they're holding, like if I'm holding all of this in my hand, I might think I'm coming out and I'm cutting this all at layered. I'm, I'm layering it all, but I'm not layering it all because this part here, this is actually at almost 45 degrees. This is 90, then here, is almost 45 degrees, 90 is here. So I need to be up here with this section in order to not build extra weight on the back end of, of that cut. So if I take this section up and I cut it here, when I drop that, I've got a heavy, little bit of a heavy shelf building up because that's the weight, that's the graduation on the top end of that section. Does that make sense? So we are going to start with the vertical section in the back. I'm cutting this down to the occipital bone. There's not gonna be much hair underneath here to cut past the occipital bone, but I'm just gonna continue my line. See, there's nothing really there. If there is hair there, you continue that line. This is one thing I want you guys to think about. When I cut this, my top point of my section is at 90. This line that I cut, I wanna continue that line straight out till it hits the floor. So everything that I bring out from the head is going to follow that line. That's the line that I chose for this haircut. And that's where I pull everything up to and cut it. And then when I rotate, I'm going to rotate this horizontally into a, the next pie shape section. So section one, we're now going to travel. This was section one. So I'm gonna pivot here, grab section two, and I'm going to bring section one over to section two. So I bring this up, got that entire section one in my hand, and I come across and I cut. I'm combing the old section, the guide, toward the new section. That will just ensure that I'm pushing the guide in the right place. If I were to pull the hair, I'd be pulling the new hair towards the guideline, and I'd never have that guideline where I wanted it to be. We're gonna go to my Uber driver analogy here. So imagine section one is an Uber driver, or uh, what's the other one, Lyft? A Lyft driver, and so section one goes over to section two's place, picks them up, cuts them. <laughs> That's not nice. Uh, section one over to section two's place. You cut section two, you drop them off at home. Section two then goes over to section three's place and section one gets dropped off. So here, section one stays back. Now section two goes to pick up section three. So we bring section two over to section three's house. We go through and we cut. And now I'll recomb to then grab tension again. Now we drop section two off at its home and three goes over to fours. So at this point, you should be basically right behind the ear over top of your section and continuing that line. So that line stays the same angle. So that is the left side and we've kept all of the length. Think about your guest that comes in and they're like, I don't wanna lose a lot of length, but I need my layers cleaned up. You now have cleaned up their interior and now you just do a little exterior trim. Same thing on the other side. So we're gonna grab section one again and I'll grab two in my hand. We've already cut one and we're going to bring section one over to section two. So we got some layers going. You can see this kind of beautiful, nice shape that we have. Obviously this is long, a little bit stringy towards the bottom. I'm gonna clean it up now. Then I can determine what I want that outer perimeter line to be. Now, cutting the front. We're gonna do a little connection today because I don't always connect the front and back, but I feel like you guys like when I connect it and for this cut I can. This is the portion in the back that we already cut. When you look at that, you should see a little rounded edge. That's because it followed the round. I'm going to do condensed cutting. So I'm gonna take this entire right side and I'm going to comb it up in my hand. And this is such a good technique. Because of where I'm at on the head, there's not a lot of curve to play with. But I also know that when I look at this section, I know that this is 90 degrees. So as long as I'm 90 degrees, then the rest of this section, everything from this point over, as long as I'm 90 degrees on this point, the rest of this 
will all be above 90 degrees. So all layering. Now you want to comb like this, comb it all the way up. I'm gonna grab a piece from the back as my guide that will connect it together for you guys. But see all this hair bunched up at the bottom? You really wanna work that up first. All the hair up into your hand. I got my piece as the guide. I'm over top of the parting and I cut across. Now what is this cutting it across like this is cutting it balanced on the side. Now it's all about the angle, so if you didn't pull it over top of the parting enough, you'll get a shelf and you don't want that. When I look at this now, I've now layered this entire side. Now we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. I just want to wet this down a little bit to uh, clean up the baseline. So we've now cut the entire interior of this haircut. And this little face frame, I'll actually cut into it a little bit more once I blow dry the hair and I get to see it. All right, so now we're gonna blow dry. We're gonna use Paul Mitchell Clean Beauty, a volumizing liquid. Just a couple pumps of that. and will work this through the hair. Look at all those layers. Ooh, that's nice. So Paul Mitchell Neuro Lift. So once I get the product in the hair, I like to blow dry to get it about 80% dry before I start round brushing. There's no sense in overworking a round brush over and over again to try to get the section dry then smooth. You might as well get the hair dry then smooth it with the round brush. I'm gonna blow dry everything back off of the face. So let that cool for a sec. And then as it cools, I'll unwrap it and then just kind of give it a little twist. That just keeps from pulling the little bit of wave that we put in it out of it, out of the hair. Now what I want to do, what I would have my guests do is lean their head forward, kick all this hair kind of forward, bring a little life into that root, just a little, shake that off the press there. Then what I would have her do, put her head back up, but I'd have her kind of flip it up, right? So she doesn't have a body, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to help her out a little bit. But I have her flip her hair back, then I'd work it forward. We start to get that volume going. What's cool about this cut is that it really keeps the length in the hair. 